Hi, this is question number four from the AQA Further Pure 1 January 2013 exam paper. For the first part of this video, I'd like you to try the question yourself. So if you'd like to pause the video now and try the question. Okay, well done if you managed to have a go. I'm now going to go over a hint as to how you can go about answering the question. We need to show that the improper integral here has a finite value and we need to find that what that finite value is. So um, what you might want to do to start with is write this here in index form and then integrate it. Once you've integrated it, decide what would happen if x approached in infinity. What would happen to the value of your integral um, if x approached infinity? That will hopefully tell you um, whether or not it has a finite value. Um, and, and then once you've, once you've got that far, um, you can then decide how you can go ahead and find what that value is. So if you'd now like to pause the video and see if you can have a go at answering the question. Okay, I'm now going to go over the answer to the question. So um, we're going to start off by writing this in index form. So I'm just going to find the integral. Um, of, and this is going to be x to the power of, well that will be x to the power of 3 over 2, so it's the reciprocal of that, so it's going to be x to the power of negative 3 over 2, which is what we want to integrate. Now if I go ahead and integrate that now, um, I'm going to get, if I add 1 to the power it becomes negative a half, so we've got x to the power of negative a half, and they divide by the new power, which means I'm multiplying by negative 2. Okay, so this integral is going to be equal to this here. <coughs> right, so let's think about what would happen to this as um, x... Well, before I do that, I'll, I'll write it again um, in, a, in a different form. We'll write it as negative 2 over the square root of x. Okay, so let's decide what's going to happen as x approaches infinity. Well, as x gets closer and closer to infinity, this number here is going to get huge. So the value of this expression here, minus 2 over the square root of x, is going to get closer and closer to, um, well, in fact, becomes really big, it's going to get closer and closer to 0. So I can say, well, that would get closer to zero. Yeah, so as x approaches infinity, this is going to get closer um, and approach zero. Okay, so um, we, we know what's going to happen there. We also can have a look at, well, when, when x is, and it can be equal to 25, so we could say when, when x equals 25, uh, and if I put 25 into here, um, we can see that over root x is going to be equal to um, minus 2 fifths. Okay, there you go. So, um, what we can now do is we can write down what the value of this integral is. So I can say, well, this um, integral from infinity, from 25 to infinity, x root x is going to be equal to, um, well, we would have 0 take away negative 2 fifths, um, which is just going to give us 2 fifths. Okay, um, hopefully um, you found that useful. Um, thanks very much for joining me. I look forward to seeing you again soon.